Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about loss of exponents. So what is the importance of studying this kind of topic in mathematics? Ginagamit natin loss of exponents in simplifying expressions. So without the knowledge of loss of exponents, hindi natin magagawa ng maayos yung pag-simplify ng expressions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button para update ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now, before I start discussing the different loss of exponents in our video today, pag-aralan muna natin itong power na to. So, we have here a number, a number 5. This one is called base. Ito yung base natin, yung tawag natin. At yung number naman, at the upper right corner of 5, of your base, yung 3, this one is called as the exponent. Ano bang role ng exponent sa mismong topic natin? The exponent indicates how many times natin gagamitin factor yung base natin. So in expanded form, yung 5 raised to 3 natin is simply 5 times 5 times 5. As you can see, 3 times natin minultiply yung ating base because the exponent is 3. And simplifying 5 times 5 times 5, that will give you 125. I hope na sa review pa lang natin, you already know what is the base and the exponent of a given expression. Now let's move on with the first law of exponent. We have here the first law, which is yung tinatawag natin product rule. So what is meant by the product rule? This one is the illustration of the product rule. So as you can see, we have here a raised to m, a raised to n. So, explain ko lang to, eh. Yung a natin, this is her base. At this is the exponent of a. And another base is a. At yung exponent naman ng second letter a natin is n. So, how do we perform the product rule? So, again, we have a raised to m times a raised to n. Simple lang rule. So, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag parehas ang base, ang rule lang, lang naman dito is copy the base and add the exponents. Since the bases are the same, you need to copy A and then simply add the exponents M and N. That's why the answer here is A raised to M plus N. So, gagawin natin ngayon, mapakita ko sa inyo manually kung paano ginagawa ang product rule using these examples. For number 1, we have 3 raised to 2 times 3 raised to 2. So, as you can see, yung base natin ay parehas. So, gagawin mo rin dito, lang dito, since the bases are the same, all you need to do is to copy your base and add your exponents 2 plus 2. And simplify your exponent, that will give you 3 raised to 4. And we know na ang 3 raised to 4 natin ay simpleng 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that is equal to 81. This is the answer for item number one, applying the product rule. Now let's move on with item number two. For item number two, so we have here the expressions x raised to 4 times x raised to 5. So same ring to, we need to multiply, multiply yung ating operation, but ang rule natin, if the bases are the same, all you need to do is to copy the base, your x, and then simply add your exponents 4 plus 5. And simplifying it, it will give you the answer of x raised to 9. Ganun lang kadali, i-apply ang product rule. So I hope na sa first two examples pa natin, ay alam niyo na kung paano gamitin ang product rule. Now let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, so una natin gagawin dito is multiply the numbers. So alam natin that 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. And then as you can see, meron tayong pareha sa base, which is ang x. Copy your base x and then add the exponents. You have 2 at meron tayo itong invisible 1, so that is plus 1. And then copy yung y. So simplifying this, this will give you the answer of negative 8 x raised to 3, y. This is the answer for item number 3. 
Now, let's move on with the next rule or the next law for the exponents. We have here the quotient rule. So, kanina meron tayong product rule kung saan ang nakikita nyo is multiplication. Right now, sa quotient rule, ang evident na operation dito is division. So, let me give you the illustration of this rule. We have a raised to m over a raised to n. Which is, kapag sinimplify natin, kapag parehas ang base, kopyahin, and then kapag quotient rule, subtract the exponents. That's why the answer is simply a raised to m minus n. So, try natin sa example number 1. We have here the expression x raised to 5 over x raised to 3. So, sir, paano ba ginagawa or paano ba sinisimplify yung gantong klaseng expression? So, given this kind of expression, all you need to do is to apply the quotient rule. So, observe mo muna, parehas ang kanilang base. So, all you need to do is to copy the base, copy yun ang base, x, and then subtract your exponent. Tandaan na, ang lagi mo uunahin ay yung exponent ng numerator. So, that will be x raised to 5 minus 3. So, simplifying that one, it will give you the answer of x raised to 2 or x squared. This is the answer for item number 1. So, sana nakukuha nyo na yung, ano, yung mismo konsepto ng quotient rule. Now, let's move on with item number 4. Or number 2, sorry. Item number 2, we have the given expression. 4, a raised to 10, b raised to 6, over 8, a raised to 5 b raised to 5. Unahin muna natin yung mga numbers o yung coefficients. So, simplifying 4 over 8, that is simply 1 half. Tama? And then, for the variables, as you can see, parehas yung a natin. Meaning, you need to copy the variable a and then subtract the exponents of it, which is 10 minus 5. And then, as you can see, for the other variable, parehas yung ating b. Copy your variable b, and then subtract the exponents. That will give you 6 minus 5. And simplifying the exponents, that will give you 1 half a raised to 5, b raised to 1. At since 1 lang yan, hindi nyo na kailangan sulat yan. Or pwede rin natin sulat yung sagot natin as a raised to 5, b over 2. These are the possible answers for item number 2. Now, for the third law of exponent, we have here the power rule. So, we have here this illustration, a raised to m raised to n. So, how do we simplify this kind of expression using power rule? All you need to do is to copy your base a and then simply multiply the exponents. That's why we have here a raised to mn. So let's have example number one para may apply natin yung power rule. We have here x raised to 5 raised to 2. So paano ba natin ginagawa yan? Gawin mo lang naman dito is copy your x as the base and then simply 5 times 2 and that will give you x raised to 10. That's it for item number one. And then for item number 2 naman, your base is 2, raised to 3, raised to 2. Copy your base 2, then multiply the exponents 3 times 2, that will give you 2 raised to 5. And we know that the expanded form of 2 raised to 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is equivalent to 32. Okay, so I hope na sa first two examples pa lang, you can grasp the concept of power rule. Now, let's move on with item number 3. Now, for item number 3, we have x raised to 4 over y raised to 3. So, how do we simplify this kind of expression using power rule? So, ginagawa natin dito is that you need to use this kind of expression. Expand lang natin. This will become x raised to 4 raised to 
3 over your y raised to 3. And then, applying the power rule, you can multiply the exponents of your numerator and your denominator, which is equal to x raised to 4 times 3 over y raised to 1 times 3. And then simplifying the exponents, it will give you x raised to 12 over y raised to 3. This is the answer for item number 1. So that is the power rule. And let's move on with the fourth example, fourth rule for the loss of exponents. We have the power of a product rule. So paano ba ina-apply yung power of a product rule? So kung mapansin nyo dito, parang mas malaking part lang siya ng power rule kanina, which is dito, naging dalawa na lang base natin. We have A times B, or AB raised to M. And then simply, that is equivalent to A raised to M, B raised to M. So let's apply the power of a product rule for item number 1. So for this one, ang gagawin mo na naman is you need to distribute the exponent outside the parentheses. So that is equal to x raised to 5 times 3. And then for the exponent of y, alam natin na meron tayo itong 1. So you have y raised to 1 times 3. And simplifying this expression, this will give you x raised to 15 because 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And then for the y variable, the exponent is 3. This is the answer for item number 1. Let's move on with item number 2. We have the quantity of c squared b raised to 4 squared raised to 2. So simply lang naman, all you need to do is to distribute the exponent outside the parentheses and expand lang natin. This will give you 4 the exponent of 1 times 2. And then for the c variable, c raised to 2, ito yung kanyang exponent, and then times 2. For the b variable, you have p raised to 4 times 2. And simplifying this, it will give you 4 raised to 2, c raised to 4, and b raised to 8. We're not yet done kasi itong 4 squared natin can be simplified as 16, c raised to 4, b raised to 8. Meaning, the correct answer for item number 2 is simply 16, c raised to the 4th power, and b raised to 6. So, let's have the fifth one, which is yung tinatawag nating zero, prod, zero exponent rule. So, ang rule lang naman dito, any number, any variable, an expression except zero that is raised by zero that is equivalent to one. So for you to have the concept of this rule, let's have item number one. We have here five raised to zero. And sabi yan, diba? Any number except kay zero, which is raised by zero, that is equivalent kay one. This is equal to one. Okay? So let's have item number two. For number 12, or for number 2, we have 12 x raised to 0. As you can see, yung x natin ay merong 0. So that will become 2 times 1. Kasi itong x raised to 0 natin, ah sorry, x raised to 0 natin is equivalent to 1. Tandaan na, yung 12 natin is hindi siya kasama sa merong exponent na 0. That's why hindi siya magiging 1. So we have here, 12 times 1, and simplifying this, this will give you 12. This is the answer for item number 13. Item number 2. Let's move on with item number 3. For item number 3, explain ko lang ha. Ito, itong part na to, x raised to 0, that is equivalent to 1. So we can have 1 plus 3. Again, yung value nito is 1. So we have 1 plus 3. And then as you can see, ito expression ito is raised by a 0. Therefore, 1 lang siya. So times 1. 
And simplify natin to. This will give you 4 times 1. Meaning, yung value nito is simply 4. Ganun lang kasimple or ganun lang kadali. I-apply yung loss of exponents. Okay? Now, let's move on with the last rule na meron tayo sa ating tutorial. We have the negative exponent rule. Ito yung kanyang illustration. You have a raised to negative x is equal to 1 over a raised to x. So, pinaka-concept ko kasi nito, hindi tayo nag-accept ng negative exponent sa final answer, sa simplifying of, simplifying of expressions. So, kailangan natin gawin siyang positive exponent. So, as you can see, ito, explain ko lang ha, yung a raised to negative x natin can be represented as fraction bilang ang denominator niya yung 1. To make it positive, since ito ay nasa numerator, dalhin mo lang sa, sa kanyang denominator. That's why the answer is 1 over a raised to x. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung paano siya gamitin. So, for number 1, we have 7 raised to negative x. So, paano, ano ba yung equivalent yan? So, ang gagawin mo lang naman, since nasa numerator siya, ang equivalent value niya is 1 over 7 raised to 1. Naging positive na siya kasi napunta siya sa denominator. Or simply, 1 over 7. Ayun yung simplified form no item number 1. 1 over 7. So, let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, x raised to negative 5, same thing with number 1. That is equivalent to 1 over x raised to 5. Ganun siya ginagawa. Number 3, we have 3, x raised to negative 3. As you can see, yung, yung term o yung expression na may negative exponent ay nasa denominator. So kung nasa denominator siya, ilipat mo siya ngayon sa numerator to make it positive. So the answer for item number 3 is 2x raised to 3. This is the answer for item number 3. So I hope na natuto kayo sa ating video about the different loss of exponents. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!